Mr. Speaker, I rise today in strong opposition to the so-called Respect for Marriage Act. Honestly, the bill should be called the Disrespect for Marriage Act. This bill certainly disrespects God's definition of marriage, a definition that has served His creation well for more than 5,000 years of recorded history. And His definition is the only one that really matters. This bill would codify into federal law the Supreme Court's wrongly decided Oberfell decision and ensure that the marriage laws in the most liberal state irrespective of how radical they might become in the future, think polygamy, bestiality, child marriage, or whatever must be legally recognized in all states. It was wrong when the Supreme Court made law in the Oberfeld decision requiring that the marriage law in Massachusetts had to become the law of the whole country when Massachusetts approved gay marriage. This was overriding the will of the people and their elected representatives as no other state to that point had been able to pass through referendum or state legislature a gay marriage law. The fact is traditional biblical marriage is the foundation of a strong society and a strong culture. I'll say it once again, Almost everything that plagues our society is a failure to follow God's design for marriage, morality, and the family. The perfect, omniscient, immutable God knows what He's doing. But this legislation repeals the correct de definition of marriage in federal code and requires the federal government to recognize any marriage if the marriage was valid in the state where it was performed. And, perhaps even worse, this bill eliminates all religious freedom protections for churches or faith-based organizations and requires everyone to participate in and recognize gay marriage. And it empowers the IRS with their newly hired 87,000 agents who apparently need more to do to go after the religious institutions that simply seek to operate according to their beliefs. In fact, the bill does nothing to prevent the IRS from attacking and harming the religious organizations have made an incredible impact in our communities across our nation. It's simply designed to undermine marriage as a union between one man and one woman. God's perfect design is indeed marriage between one man and one woman for life. And it doesn't matter what you think or what I think, that's what the Bible says. This proposal is yet another Democrat attempt to undermine the fundamental values which formed our nation and continue to hold our country together. Recognition of the institution of marriage as between one man and one woman and respect for the freedom to operate according to your sincerely held religious beliefs. The legislation we're continuing today is a sobering indication of the erosion of the moral values that have made this nation great. As President Reagan once said, America is great because America is good. And if America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great. All great nations and societies fall from within. With Democrats threatening all sense of values and decency and family today, sexualizing kids in school, redefining sex and gender, trans surgery and mutilation of minors, it makes no sense for any Republican to support their efforts to codify their views on marriage. And I urge all my colleagues in this body to join me in strongly opposing this bill. The gentleman